Welcome to our introductory tutorial for the Mask Integrator. The Mask Integrator lets you mask and crop very complex motifs in only a few seconds if they have been photographed once with normal lighting and then with backlight. We will show you how to take these pictures in the best way possible or how you can apply this technique even to moving objects in another video on our website. If you want to test the mask integrator but have no adequate pictures yet to test it with, you can find some sample pictures in the download area of our website. Open the first picture that you have taken in this manner in the photo area. In the mask area, you then open the corresponding picture taken with backlighting. Mask integrator then automatically sets itself to the correct mode in which you see the masked image. You find the various viewing options up here in this bar. Here you see the normal picture. Here the mask. Here you see the background, if you have selected your own background image. And here you find the resulting image. Select the background you want to use for your picture here. Use these arrows to skip to the next picture and the next mask at the same time and if you photograph directly from your camera into the computer, you can activate this checkbox to view the pictures you just took in front of your chosen background. Mask Integrator will automatically load all pictures that you just added to your folder. This makes it very easy to adjust your lighting to a specific background. If, for once, your motif and the mask don't match 100%, you can correct this pixel by pixel here. To optimize the mask, you should switch to the mask mode. If you prefer to do your fine tuning manually, simply deactivate the auto mode. The controls for blacks and whites let you manually set the mask so that transparent areas appear completely black and non-transparent areas appear white. Since fine nuances are usually hard to recognize, you can use the edge mode to display the transitions that are not yet fully black or white. You can manually color all those areas that you definitely want to be transparent or non-transparent with a black or white brush. Paint with your left mouse button, zoom with your scroll wheel and drag the picture with the right mouse button. In the navigator, you can define the size and the selection of your viewer manually at all times. After painting over any unwanted transitions, you can deactivate the edge mode again. The brush works the same in both the mask mode and the final picture. You can correct any mistakes that you made with the brush with the eraser tool. To see where you have already deleted elements with the brush, just select the brush mask. The brush mask will be saved as a brush file in the same folder as the backlight picture and will be loaded automatically along with the picture when you open it the next time. If you work on several pictures that are similar, you can copy your brush mask with C and paste it with V into the next picture. Clicking on the reset button will delete the entire mask. You can position and scale your masked picture in front of your selected background by pressing space and using the mouse or with these buttons. Your settings will remain the same when you browse through your folder or when you automatically recognize your new pictures. You can also always reset your settings. Choose a destination folder for your finished pictures here and save the results with this button. If you want to save all pictures within a specific folder, please use this button. You can select the format of your files in your settings. You can reset all settings including the brush files that Mask Integrator creates with the Reset All button. In addition to this tutorial, you can find more useful information in our Help section. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and wish you a lot of fun working with the Mask Integrator.